Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I'm so sorry that I haven't posted anything for a minute. Um, I started back up working. I have been out since February and I just was not prepared for it, <laughs> to be honest. It really kicked my butt that first week. So um, I am now situated and ready to... Uh, post some videos for you guys. So again, I apologize about not having anything posted last week. So let's just get into some more Halloween projects. So I have this mini album and it is, let's see, let's see if I can find my ruler. So I recently um, had took over my daughter's bedroom because she went back to college, she went to Wazoo. So I have all my filming stuff up in her room, and so I don't always have all the tools that I need, um, but I do have my ruler, so let's see. I think this is five and a half by seven and a half. Yeah, a five and a half by seven and a half mini album with, let's see, a two inch spine. Yeah, a two inch spine, and I used Echo Parks uh, Bewitched collection that I had got last year and I really wish I would have looked at what was in it because this collection which happens a lot there's only one of each sheet in there but luckily I did purchase extra of this dotted paper and this floral paper so I did have a little bit more to work with but um, I typically like to get a packet that has two of each so here is the front cover and it's just similar to some of my other albums. What I do with the double matting, um, have the orange and then I have these, I can't remember the brand, but it is a black spiderweb doily that I got and I just cut it up um, and then did the three by four card on three different mats. <laughs> And then um, added some sticker elements. This is from the sticker sheet here. I backed it on black cardstock and then fussy cut it out. Just a few flowers from my stash and um, punched out some leaves. And then here is the spine, which is just, this is a ribbon here. And I just kept layering it until I covered it. But I did put some orange underneath that. And then here is what the back looks like with that polka dot. Okay, and then opens up like this. And this is just a simple pocket page mini album. And I did use Graphic 45's um, ACT, ATC tags, um, as well as the dies that matched it. I don't know why, but I've been using them a lot. I just like them, so there you go. So I have that, this is a sticker. Um, that I did put on white cardstock and then fussy cut out and you could still tuck your photo in there. And then I did ink the edges with black soot. I typically like to do that, especially with my Halloween collections. Um, but sometimes, I don't know if you guys can see, but when you do ink, sometimes if your sponge is really used, a little bit will flake off and get on there. Or sometimes the pages, if you don't let them dry, um, they'll get on you know the other pages so that's the only downfall to inking sometimes but a picture is going to cover that up anyway so and then the I have this purple an orange and a darker like eggplant purple just basic um, basil cardstock that I have in my stash and then they have just a photo mat and I just did the front not the back because it will get really full once you start putting photos on there. And then you have this, which this is my favorite, this little floral sheet here. And then I have a little flap for a three by four car, um, photo, a photo mat here in the pocket. And then this flips up and I have a magnet closure on this here. And then I'm not going to pull all these out, but you can see the color that's on there. It's um, orange, and then the eggplant, white, um, and then I just repeat it. 
And then on this page, we have the witch's hat. Again, these this is from the spiderweb doily that I cut up so I can um, do the corners with. And then there's another magnet in here. I just added a sticker to the bottom here, and again, it is left open. Let's see, yeah. So you can tuck a photo. And then you have this side here. And this is um, a four by six photo, it can go straight on these. And then this is from the cut apart page, sticker sheet, opens up like that. And then I just layered up a few of the stickers um, since it was you know, the candy looked like the polka dots and then just a couple of the candies with it. Then you have this one, which is uh, mirrored to the other page we had. Again, a three by four photo. I love these little witches, witch hats. They're so cute. And this is from another cut apart page. And then it opens like that with a magnet closure. Then you have the back. And again, this pulls out and I did cover both sides. I just did an orange on the back of both of the tags. And then just a little bit of ribbon on there. You could tie it however you want to. And then I just made a little pocket. You could put whatever in there, but this is from, there was like a border page. Um, so I just cut that up to add to our little candy page here. And that is it. It is five pages. Let's see. Yes, five pages. Again, it's a five and a half by seven and a half mini album using Echo Parks Bewitch collection. So I really hope that you guys like it. Um, I do have a couple other projects to share with you. So if you did like it, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so so that way you can see future projects. Thanks for watching. Bye.